the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create a side panel nav bar in WPF. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start by creating a new project and filling out its project properties. Now let's select the window and go to the properties panel and change the width and height of the window. Now let's change the background color to no fill, foreground to white and so let's check the allow transparency and the window size or the window state to center. Now let's select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle on the window. Let's resize the grid and the window. Also change the rectangle color to a dark red. Uh, sorry, let's uh, change the color to dark gray and now resize the grid and the window. Let's run the application once to check the width and height. Okay, now let's start uh, adding the elements on the rectangle. So for that we shall use the ellipse tool. draw an ellipse on the created rectangle and position it and now let's fill the ellipse with an image so browse the image okay. now let's select a text block before that let's uh, resize the image or to say the ellipse control okay now let's select the text block and draw a text okay let's re uh, change the content of the text block to dashboard and say so go to properties and change its font size and the font weight Position the text block Now let's select the uh, ellipse tool ellipse and the text block and make a copy of it and resize the copied content and change the image in the ellipse and the font size of the copied text block and also change the content of it position the newly copied content So next uh, we shall make duplicates of the copied content and change the icons and the text for the rest of the copied content. I am speeding up the process here. Here I am resizing the window after 
observing that the elements that are added are uh, uh, occupying less space than the actual size of the window now let's resize the text blocks and make two more copies of the text block and the ellipse and uh, similarly in the same way uh, let's uh, change the icon and the text content of the text blocks okay now let's delete the first icon and create a custom logo here i am making use of the rectangle tool and filling it with a color in this case i am filling it with yellow and next i will zoom in and then round the edges I'll make two more copies of the newly created rounded rectangle and resize them and uh, fill them with a different color. So next uh, we shall uh, do some changes to the text blocks. So let's select the first text block and increase its size and overlap it on the ellipse. And now next we shall go to the properties panel. Before that let's delete all the other uh, text blocks. And uh, let's expand the properties and go add a padding of uh, 50. Okay, and let's add a top padding of 10. Now let's select the ellipse which is inside the text block and its position so now let's delete all the other icons and uh, make the similar changes for the rest of them so let's select before that let's uh, move the ellipse below the uh, above the uh, text block so that uh, when we change the background color the ellipse is always on top so now now that we are done doing that let's add a storyboard and on the first keyframe let's uh, add a first keyframe and on the second keyframe let's change the color of the uh, text block okay now let's set a trigger on click of the or on the mouse enter of the text block let's run the storyboard now let's add one more storyboard and this time we the first keyframe will have the last uh, color when it was highlighted and on the second keyframe let's revert back the original color which is the color of the window so before that let's go to the triggers and on uh, select mouse leave of the text block let's uh, 
trigger the storyboard tool so here you can see the animation is working as expected now let's repeat the same process for all the other uh, links on the navbar so let's make duplicates of uh, the first created uh, item of the navbar and then change the icons and the content of the text blocks and also we shall add storyboards for each of the navbar item So now uh, now what we will do is uh, we will um, add storyboards to uh, all the uh, navbar elements so here I am speeding up the process this process is uh, similar to the first storyboard uh, that we created for the first navbar item So here you can see that all the navbar items have this uh, hover animation. Now next let's resize the main uh, rectangle and hide all the uh, text blocks. So go to the properties panel in the appearance uh, window let's uh, change the visibility to hidden now let's select all the three rectangles of the logo and group it into a grid and rename it to logo next uh, let's resize uh, the 
main rectangle 255 and then let's add a storyboard and on the first keyframe let's capture the um, actual uh, width and on the second keyframe let's increase the size of the rectangle and then um, uh, on the uh, second keyframe also we shall make the um, text blocks visible so let's uh, select the uh, keyframes and move it uh, uh, a little back so that uh, the animation is faster now let's select the grid or the logo grid and um, add a trigger to the newly created storyboard and let's run this application and that you go guys our uh, application is working as expected and our animations too hope you all uh, liked watching this video please subscribe to my channel thank you